Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Crater. Today we're going to be looking at how I was able to make that compost bin um, in that video uh, about a week or two ago. So the reason why I was holding off on doing a lot of the U1.14 uh, blocks is because they all use, well a lot of them use uh, block states. Uh, we've covered block states in the pre uh, a few previous uh, videos ago, so I'll link down to that as well, so you guys can go directly there and learn about uh, block states. But that's basically all the compost is, bin is doing is it's updating block states, and then once it gets to a certain block state, it gives whatever item you want. It doesn't necessarily need to be. Um, like uh, bone meal or anything, you could give diamonds or whatever you wanted. Uh, the concept though is pretty much the same. So we'll start with the first block state, which is uh, compost bin zero. This is the empty block state. As you can see, we have a different, um, just a uh, custom model here and uh, no rotation or anything like that. All the settings are pretty much default outside of having it on uh, cutout. Uh, you can also use cutout mipped. Um, having the GUI name, and I've also selected the map cutter to wood because then it will come up as wood on the thing. As we're working with wood, that's probably a best idea. And all the other settings outside of the material, the creative tab, the resistance and hardness and sounds and I believe the late opacity has been changed too. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. I just changed it to zero and the tool obviously. So those are just some basic things. Uh, for dropping, we want it to drop itself. So that's why none of this is um, configured. Uh, there's no particles, no inventory. And that leads us to the the actual procedure to test for the items. So we'll open this up. Uh, so basically we're testing for seeds currently. And if there's seeds, this is just an example by the way. So if there's seeds, then it's going to test if the, world, the it's on the server side. And if it is on the server side, then testing if the uh, player is not in creative so if it's not in creative, then it's going to um, basically remove the seeds from the inventory. If it's in creative, then it's just going to keep the seeds in the inventory. Uh, it's going to play the sound of gravel being placed. Then on a random um, event at 80% chance, it will um, remove the block and update to the next state. Now you can add as many of um, these procedures, you can just stack on like this and just update the, the blocks here and the percentage depending on what you want for it. So for example, if we were wanting to uh, test for something a little bit better, maybe uh, say cake. So we'll go with the cake item. So we'll go to the item and then we'll click cake. There's also a cake block, but we don't want to test for that because we can't hold it. And we'll update the seeds. And then we'll set this to um, zero. And then what this is going to do is uh, if it's greater than zero, equal or greater than, then it's going to always update. And that's all we need to do for adding a new um, entry. So we'll click save. And then generation, there isn't any generation. So that's basically the first block state. The second one is a little bit different. It's using a different model. Um, we're still using the cutout settings. Uh, this time we're going to be uh, testing for it to drop the um, the actual uh, first block state. That's why it's a different color right here. And over here we have very similar procedure, probably the exact same thing. We're just going to update this again, and we're going to select our items.
and cake. And set this to zero. All right, so that's good. And this is basically updating to the third block state, where this one is also updating to the third. It's I couldn't get the different texture, so it's the same thing. And that's all good to go. We'll wait for this to compile down here. And then we'll click next, and then finally next. So that's uh, these two things, I think these two things. That's for zero, so that's that one. This is for that one, so. And now we'll move on to the second one. Same thing. Only thing different is the procedure down here. And we need to just update it again. So as you probably guessed already, uh, these, um, place block is going to be for the third block state so we've gone through one we're on uh, we've been through the zero one and now we're on two so this is going to be three and you can just kind of see how it's always climbing up to the next level um, there's not too many other block states in here there's the third one so not much has changed here either so it's pretty much just duplicated and we're just going to clone this, plop that down here, and we're going to add the cake again. And oh, we need it to set that other one to zero as well. So we'll wait for this. Save changes. So we needed to update the percentage down here to zero. It's important to update this uh, when you're doing it or if you have something similar like carrots and potatoes then you can just leave it if it's the same thing but um, just remember that this number here uh, equal or greater than well I think it's less than no it's greater than so if this is um, the random number is equal or greater than um, the uh, 0 0.8 so it would leave only 20, 0.2% so there's this is actually just take this number and reverse it to 0 0.2 and that's how much chance of it actually um, happening so that's how that particular thing works okay so and then we're on to our I believe a fourth block state so we'll go through all here and this one has an update tick, so this one's a little bit different. So once we get to all those, um, get through all those other ones, so upstate or block state one, zero, one, two, and three, then it goes into a um, a block update. So what this one's doing is a little bit different. Um, if we open this, uh, as you can see right here, it's. Um, going to play a sound and the sound is block grass place it's going to remove and then update to the final block state now the only difference in this particular block is uh, where is it the um, tick rate is a little bit higher uh, based on the amount of time that you want to wait want it to wait so remember that 20 is um, one second so this having it at 100 is five seconds so we're just going to leave this procedure the way it is and then finally our fifth procedure um, this one basically when broken then it obviously drops the same thing as the first state uh, tick rates normal uh, not much else has changed in here, so we're just going to go straight to the right click. What this one's doing is it's testing if the, the um, client it's on the server side, and if it is, then it's going to remove the block. It's going to place the first state again, and it's going to spawn one gem one block above. So what that will do is it'll spawn whatever item you want, so you can change this to diamonds if you wanted to. Uh, for example, we'll do that right now. Uh, we can just throw diamonds from compost bins because that's always really 
legit way of obtaining diamonds. I guess it is now, so. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, so, kind of have an idea how it all works. And if we go into the game now, I'll show you again, uh, like, basically the same thing that we've configured. I'll also provide the workspace on my website. So you guys can um, download it, experiment with it, and it sounds like there might be um, possibly support for workspaces, some new features in the future for um, sharing and stuff, but I can't get into too many details with that. All right, so we'll go into, let's see here. I don't know if I've used this world previously, probably. Yeah, it looks like I have. So, all right, we're just going to game mode zero. Oh, no, that's the one we're in. Okay. And we need seeds. I know I just deleted a bunch, but there's too many for me. Uh, I'll go one inventory of that. put those all on this side right here and then what we'll do is we'll grab some cake uh, wherever cake may be there we go and just put that over here for the time being all right so we'll grab one stack of cake and one stack of that as you can see now it drops diamonds if we right click on the block with cake it will always update to the next stage, as you can see here, because we've set it to zero. So what that will do is it's going to be 100% chance all the time. And then it's going to wait five seconds. And then it's going to um, actually generate the full version. And seeds are a little bit more random. As you can see, I'm right clicking multiple times and it's only a 20% chance of it happening. So then we get to that state and it will update. Now, the, someone has created a compost bin before. Uh, it's not an original idea. I mean, it's Minecraft. As soon as Minecraft came out with it, it's like all over the, uh, the work or the um, community. So, but um, it has been done before. I've been meaning to do this for quite a while um, since 1.14. So, all I have to say is great minds think alike and uh, I'll provide this model as well as the textures in on my website so you guys can play around with it and um, you know just kind of figure out how it all works in person so it's a little bit easier for other people to learn how to make compost bins for their mods and stuff like that uh, you can actually change it so it's something completely different or whatever but the concepts still the same using block states Anyhow, uh, that's all I have time for today. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below, let me know what you liked about it. And rate the video, it does really actually help. So um, definitely do that because the more people that rate the video, the more um, I can kind of get an idea of what the um, feedback of my videos are and what to more focus on doing in the future. And outside of that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.